<clears throat> Alright, so I want everyone to kind of think of an animal in the ocean, of a marine life that is extremely intelligent. Now some of you may be thinking something that's kind of closer to us, something like a dolphin or maybe a whale. But those of you that are really cool, you'd be thinking of the incredible cephalopods. Now, some of you may be wondering what a cephalopod is exactly. So a cephalopod is a type of mollusk, something like a, you know, a clam or a snail. Now, the cephalopods are distinct in that they have more of a prominent head that you can see. They have tentacles. They have those camera-like eyes, almost like we have. But the main thing between them and other mollusks is that they either have like an internal shell or they have no shell at all. Of course, there are always you know exceptions to that rule, like this beautiful nautilus right here. And I'm sure you've seen this beautiful shell strewn over t-shirts, imitated with stairways, just all over the place. So cephalopods are going to be including things like squids, octopi, and cuttlefish. And I'll be focusing on a specific group of the cephalopods, the octopuses. You can also call them octopi or octopodes, you know, whatever you prefer. And I'll be focusing on a specific type of octopus. Now octopuses are unique in the fact that they are able to use ink, which a lot of people associate with them. But they're also able to use a special chemical that allows them to do camouflage. So a particular cephalopod that I'll be talking about was first discovered in the around Indonesia. And what's unique about this particular octopus is not only can it use camouflage, but it's able to use that camouflage to mimic other predators. And this, of course, is called the mimic octopus. So a mimic octopus can actually f mimic several different kinds of animals. I'm going to display a couple here. So in this case, this animal here is a flatfish. It's able to kind of scurry around the bottom of the floor. So the mimic octopus can wow, well, it can copy it exactly. Just like you can see right here. Look at it. it you know, kinda if you thought you were another kind of fish or predator or something, you know, that's they're kinda gonna think that's flatfish. A lot of the things that they mimic they're gonna be using because they want to protect themselves. So if you see this right here, this is a sea snake, and just like it's venomous and scary and can kill us, you know, other fish and animals in the ocean are going to be concerned about this snake as well. So the mimic octopus is going to see a snake like this, see the impact it has, and be like, yeah, I think I should mimic them. So in this case, they'll actually crawl into a hole and just use two of the legs to mimic the movement of the snake. So the mimic octopus can definitely mimic a wide variety of organisms, and a lot of times it's going to be for protection. So this is another case of that, and this right here is a lionfish, which is extremely poisonous to a lot of organisms in the sea. A mimic octopus is going to want to try to look exactly like that lionfish, because from far away, a predator is going to not approach, they're not going to think tasty, tasty octopus, they're going to think poisonous lionfish, and be like, yeah, I'm not going to touch that. But they can definitely mimic a wide variety of organisms. So in this case, they're mimicking a stingray. In this case, a starfish. Not bad, not bad. A shrimp. And in this case, they're actually going to be mimicking like the movement of a jellyfish. Just imagine those tentacles kind of moving up and down as a jellyfish is kind of pumping through the ocean. Now sometimes it can look a little weird if you're not too sure what they're trying to imitate. For example, when you look at this picture here, I think a lot of you would have no idea what in the world this thing is trying to mimic. Now, if you can, if you search the internet, you're going to find a video talking about a furry turkey. Now, I recommend you look for it, but in this case, I'm, it's probably trying to look a little bit like a sea sponge. So what I want you to gain from this is to gain an appreciation about the diversity of sea life. So if you look at this chart here, you can actually see a wide variety of different sea life that you can see in the ocean. So just remember guys, mimic octopuses are pretty cool.